So over the last year, I've done loads of projects, mainly using bits and pieces I bought from AliExpress. I think the postman has come to my house every week. He must be pretty annoyed coming here all the time. But anyway, I thought I'd just make this little video at the end of the year to sort of highlight some of the top buys and some of the absolute stinkers I bought this year. So I bought everything with my own money. I don't have any sponsorships or any of that kind of stuff. I say it's good, I genuinely actually believe it's good and I use it. And if I say it's bad, it tends to not be very good. So I thought that'd make a nice and interesting end to the year. So let's crack on with my top buys. So my first top purchase of the year is this. It's so simple, a simple vacuum um, suction tool that's used for surface mount soldering. So I didn't realize how powerful and useful this would be. And when it came, I thought it looked a bit cheap and nasty. But let me show you what it can do. So there's a, an ESP32S3. It's a pain to solder. It's and look at that, it can just pick you up so easy and you can get it exactly where you want it on the board without having to do that with your fingers and then you just press the button to lift it off again so simple and of course it comes with different size attachments right down to really small ones like this look even that can pick up the ESP32 that's pretty cool isn't it really helps you get things positioned so that was an absolute godsend when I was trying to put some of these components down, like this one and this one, and this one there. You know, it really helps you just get them in position without having to try and get your fingers in because don't forget, when, the, when this has got solder paste on, all these things move. So if you go in with your fingers like that or, or a pair of tweezers like this and you, you drop your thing and then you move, all these will get just knocked out of the way. So this little suction tool is really a good buy recommend it. My second absolute bargain of the year was this little logic analyzer. I'm not going to say too much about this because you know I made a whole video on it but I've used it four or five times now it's never really let me down so you know really can't knock it for the price of it I just recommend everybody picks it up. For I2C stuff it's absolutely perfect and as a few people said in the comments on those videos it's not a professional device it's not going to work with like high-speed SPI and stuff like that but for the basics it's really really good and for the price of it it's an absolute steal so totally recommend one of these another top buy of the year was this Tang Nano 9k development board so at university I absolutely hated my digital electronics module where we were dealing with FPGAs I just didn't really get it and I don't think the Electro is very good and I think that's the problem so I've got one of these, picked it up, it's really cheap to be honest for what you get and I've been playing around with it for a few few times now basically start by getting these LEDs to flash and then I, I sort of programmed a little code to sort of do like a little Knight Rider back and forth um, basically just learning it and it's actually pretty simple and it's super powerful so I'm looking forward to doing projects with this next year but it is really a good buy so not very expensive and it's very very powerful so that's pretty cool I definitely recommend picking one of those up if you're interested in that kind of thing um, you get a little kit with the headers and um, it's got sort of a USB-C connector and HDMI so that's a lot more advanced than anything I'll be doing with it but still it's pretty cool and pretty cost effective my final absolute bargain of the year is this Nano VNA. So if you look online, there's absolutely loads of different versions and all that kind of stuff. This is literally the cheapest one and it works great. It does everything I want it to do. It's so handy if you try to build filters or anything like that. I mean, it only goes up to something like two gigahertz, but for most stuff, certainly that I'm doing, it's more than enough. It was a little bit limited when I was looking at those uh, microcontroller development boards and various antennas and stuff like that because basically Wi-Fi is at 2.4 gigahertz and I think this one stops at 2. There are other versions but they're a little bit more expensive but anyway this is a real godsend. It really works really well for the cost of it. It's a no-brainer. I mean I did buy the, the tiny Spectrum Analyzer Ultra version which goes to something like 5 gigahertz which is pretty useful but the fact that this is a VNA and it's got the signal source as well as basically the, the spectrum analyzer it's kind of super useful 
Um, so I'd highly recommend picking one of these up as well. It was a really good buy. All in all, I've been pretty happy with the buys from AliExpress, but there are some pretty crappy products out there. So let me show you some of those, what I definitely would not recommend. So this screwdriver set looked really promising on the sort of promotional photos, but actually it's, it's garbage. Okay, so it, it's really low quality. You barely get the screwdriver bit out, look. It's just plastic. It's, it's just a plastic little handle. You've really got to struggle to get your fingers in to get these bits out. It's not magnetic or anything, it's just, it's kind of just a friction fit, they're so loose. And the quality of the material is absolutely rubbish as well. So I definitely would not suggest you pick one of these up, even though they're really cheap. I mean, if you're in a pinch, maybe it's okay, but everything about it is cheap and nasty and I certainly don't recommend that kind of thing. Second sort of worst buy of the year was this. So this is a sort of a Waveshare C6 Mini ESP32. It's got a really nice screen on it. Um, let me power it up for you. But as you can see, it doesn't work. So it did work. To be fair to Waveshare and, and everything, it was fine, but it's so delicate. Uh, basically, first time I kind of just yanked the, the USB-C cable out of it, it broke. <laughs> that was the end of it. It never worked again. And then they're not that cheap, these things. I mean, I've seen lots of good videos online where they look really cool, but they're very, very fragile. So I must have just knocked the ribbon cable or, or something, and basically that, that was the end of it. Never to work again. So that was quite a lot of money down the drain for nothing. Here's a new one that I haven't even opened yet, but I, uh, I'm scared to break it. Let me just try again now. I think it should have a demo code on. Yeah, so it does. It has a, a demo code on. It's it's got an RGB LED. I mean, all in all, it's it's a capable little board. I think it's even a touchscreen, if I remember correctly. It's just so fragile. It's a shame. I'm scared to break it. So the last product I probably wouldn't recommend is this. So I made a video on these um, Xiaomi temperature sensors. It's quite a popular video, it's got quite a lot of views because if you, you basically can hack them and put the um, different firmware on to allow them to connect to Home Assistant, which is fine, it's really good and it works and you, you get the temperature and the last battery lasts on them. But I've probably bought 10 of these and the screens fail on them. So this is one of the few where the screen actually still works after say six months. It's not to do with the firmware actually. Basically, I've got some that I never never modified and their screens have gone as well. So some of them do work and some of them don't. And I guess that's because they're just cheap clones maybe from AliExpress. It looks like it might be a real one, but I am skeptical. Um, so that's a bit of a shame because they're pretty useful devices, this. If you know, if you want to have the temperature in every room in your house, this, these are a cheap way to do that, but they're just not really working all the time. Um, so they're a little bit flaky. Also, some of them, and I think this is one of them, the temperature never changes anymore. <laughs> so it's always reading 19.1, no matter what temperature it is in my house, which is a little bit disappointing. So I think these could be good. But um, I think there's just a lot of clones out there and a lot of those clones are not very good quality. So I definitely wouldn't recommend these. So that just brings me to the end of the video where I've highlighted a few of my absolute top buys this year on AliExpress. So as I mentioned, I've bought probably hundreds of pounds worth of kit of AliExpress and there's been some real outstanding buys. Town Nano, for example, really, really good. But there's also been some shockers. So this screwdriver set, absolutely. Okay, so as I mentioned at the start, I bought everything with my own money and I really do believe what I say is good is good and what I say is bad, it's just not worth you wasting your money on. So with that, I'm gonna end the video. I'm gonna say thanks to everyone for watching. It's been a really good year for this channel. So I had a couple of big videos during the summer and they basically got me that 4,000 hours watch time, which is basically the golden number to get monetized. So that's really cool. Um, big thanks to everyone who's watched my videos and who's helped me on that. Um, it's coming up to the end of the year. So happy new year to everyone. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the new year with a load of new projects. See you in the next one.